Welcome back to the Plays With Cars YouTube channel, where today we're not talking about cars, we're talking about timepieces. <laughs> so timepieces are the uh, fancy way of basically saying watches, uh, but obviously watches and cars have a very long history, especially with racing. I mean, shoot, the uh, kind of the the watch that everybody aspires to own is the rolex daytona which has been made famous as the timepiece of the 24 hours of daytona <laughs> uh and uh, you know so many others from there the omega Speedmaster, and uh, all of the uh, special timepieces that come out of europe for the 24 hours of le mans and stuff like that uh so yeah watches and cars especially racing cars have gone together forever uh, and I've been into watches a little bit now and just started getting into kind of some motorsports watches. And I wanted to share, uh, that you don't have to spend thousands on something like a Rolex Daytona to have fun, uh, with a car watch. So this right here is a Timex. Timex makes, uh, everything from really, really super cheap watches to a couple hundred dollar watches. Um, and generally they're pretty, uh, decent value for money. It, it just tells you the time. It doesn't have any complications on it. doesn't have any fancies to it. Um, and that's okay. What I did is I, I picked this watch up on sale in Target for 45 bucks and, uh, got this strap for $15 from blip shift with the martini stripes and put it all together. And the reason for that is, is this actually is functional for me. This car right here, our Boxster S, uh, this is our track car. We use this on track days and time trial events, HBDs, things like that. Uh, and when you're at the track and they're calling your uh, run groups and things like that, uh, they call for certain times. You know, hey, your run group's up in 10. And, you know, you're leaving at this time. And, you know, yeah, we all have a cell phone like what I'm filming this on. Uh, but generally, especially with track work, you've got the cell phone hooked up with your uh, software for monitoring your times, uh, or your cameras or stuff like that. And really you're like built it into the car and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get a cell phone out and unlock it and look at the screen to see what time it is. And you know, uh, the clock in the car might not necessarily be, uh, on time or working in the case of this thing, considering it's tied into the radio that turns to 12 every time we turn it on. Uh, so I needed a watch for going to the track so it's it's inexpensive and it looks cool you know i i can bring this to the track wear it use it and if it gets hurt while i'm changing tires or brake pads or something like that i'm not gonna cry about it, it it's not a four thousand dollar rolex it's a 45 five dollar timex and it does light up if you press the the little uh the crown there on, on the right it does light up you can't see it in the daytime but at night it looks pretty cool uh but yeah so that's like a real functional watch there's also watches for style so this is a De Tommaso, and this is a chronograph. So a chronograph is the fancy way of saying stopwatch. Uh, so this thing, you can see it's got three crowns on it. Uh, you could actually use it to do a stopwatch function. And you'll notice that the big second hand doesn't move. Uh, that's because the big second hand is actually for the stopwatch, along with the uh, little dial on the left. The little dial on the right is actually the seconds for the main clock. So kind of a, a neat little design thingy there. But yes, this is the De Tommaso, the guys that uh, designed the uh, Mangusta and the Pantera. And now they do watches and they have these in all sorts of cool colors. And I had to get yellow because I thought the yellow looked really cool. It was like a really 1950s Italian sports car look. Uh, and this watch is super affordable too. It was like 135 bucks shipped. Um, and none of this is sponsored. I, these guys have no idea who we are, and we don't do sponsorships. I paid my money for these. I just like them, and I thought I would share them with y'all. So this is like my uh, cars and coffee style watch. If I'm going to an event, um, something social, want to be a little classy looking, I wear this. Uh, if I'm watching a race, I can hit that stopwatch function and actually time a lap and get kind of an idea of what kind of lap times people are turning and this is my my function for when I'm at the track and I just need to know what time it is uh, to make sure I am in grid on time and all that good stuff. This is what I got. So, you know, less than 200 bucks all in for both watches. Uh, and really, you know, you've got something for function and something for style. Uh, and, you know, it's just kind of a fun hobby and it totally ties into the cars. Um, so, yeah, it's just something I thought I'd share. If you guys like this kind of content, let me know uh, down in the comments if you'd like to see more stuff on doing watches. Maybe I can uh, walk you through, you know, picking your own strap and any other kind of modifications. The Some of the watches, like the Casio G-Shocks and stuff, you can get complete different cases and things for them. Uh, you could really dress them up and make them look cool. Or, you know, if you just want to kind of 
take a deeper dive into a brand and, and see all the different options that are available. I could totally pull up the catalog and uh, we could talk about the different motorsports influences and stuff. But, you know, uh, just something new and different. So uh, if you like the content, let us know. Uh, but until next time, that's been the Plays of the Cars YouTube channel.